Hey, welcome to Cheaper Jeeper TV, the show that helps you get the most for your money so that you get the most for your Jeep. I'm Dino, your host. Glad to see you here. We talked about how great it is to take your Jeep off-road or on logging roads to get you to your camping, canoeing, or fishing spots that you just can't get to in other vehicles. Well, now we're going to talk about the meals you're going to have when you get there. As promised in the Algoma video, this episode we're going to learn how to make campfire ribs. Stay with us. Well, let's set up our working surface and lay out our ribs, in this case, pork side ribs. Ensure that you cut the ribs to the appropriate number of portions and then spice with pepper, salt, and garlic powder. Ensure that you spice both sides generously and then lay the ribs in foil and wrap them up. Now we have all our portions wrapped in foil. And of course a helpful ingredient would be a healthy campfire. And that's pretty much it for preparing to make campfire ribs. The rest of the process is just to sit back, enjoy the fire, share some fishing stories with your friends, and let the ribs just bake around the edge of the fire. Keeping in mind to turn them over once in a while to make sure they bake evenly. And when the time comes, put your grill on top of the coals. And when you're ready, take the ribs out of the foil and place them on the grill to sear. Ideally, you'd like coals like you see in this image here, but the evening of the ribs, the crew is pretty hungry, so we didn't wait. <laughs> can almost hear how delicious they are. Just add them with any side and enjoy. And with the paper plates, the bonus is there's no dishes to wash. Just throw them in the fire. It's lovely. Hope you found that interesting, but here's another tip. Now for some cheaper, cheaper tips. Probably like most of you, I use a cooler when I go camping. Now, instead of using an ice pack that will melt and make everything wet, I'll buy the ribs for the campfire ribs when they're on sale and then freeze them. And then when it's time to go camping, I put the frozen ribs in the cooler so that they act as an ice pack to keep the items cold for a few days. And then when I'm ready for campfire ribs, I'll just take it out of the cooler when it's thawed. And now, let's hear from our subscribers. And now for subscribers tips. This week's subscriber tip originates from our Foam Cannon a Jeep video. Hello Cheaper Jeeper TV, new subscriber here. I've reviewed many many videos from professional detailers and... Well, the subscriber's tip is at length and in detail and so I've included it on the Cheaper Jeeper TV website but in essence, it involves a step of rinsing the Jeep first, foam canning the Jeep, then rinse again, followed by a hand wash, and then a blow dry. And if need be, cleaned again with a clay bar, followed up with a ceramic coat. Signed, Bill. Well, hey Bill, thank you for your detailed and well-researched tip. I put your detailed instructions on the Cheaper Jeeper TV website and the link to that article will be found in this video's description. Once again, Bill, thank you very much. And if any of you out there have some subscriber tips, feel free to include them in the comments of this or any video and I'll be sure to try and include them in subsequent episodes. Hey, well that's it for this week's episode. We hope you found that interesting. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up or click on the subscribe button and the alert bell so you'll be notified when our next video is released. Until the next time, stay safe, be well, take care.